Hello and welcome to chapter 40 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver. Fine, we will get to it immediately. We stopped while entering new attributes to the product, right? Uh, in this case, what we did, as we are handling a shoe shop, um, we completed the sizes topic, okay? We could increase the sizes, I mean, uh, we can add sizes to each product. And the next step was showing these sizes in the shop. Um, I have already registered here as a user. I've logged in and by now I can purchase the product but it doesn't let me select any size so what we're going to do here is in this page um, we can indeed it, do it in the previous one but I don't think it's a good idea to pull all the sizes here at least until we fix these graphics a little uh, something we will do as soon as we finish the, with this okay so by now I will put it here in the purchase product I will put um, the idea we want is a size selector a drop down menu in which the customer will select the size he wants and that size information will go to the shopping cart of the customer and in case that size has a price increase obviously it will have to add up to the final price okay uh, fine we will go step by step this isn't complicated maybe the most complicated things are already over and they were when we were adding all the sizes stuff in the administration and well around here some of you have asked me the topic of uh, what happens if I want to add more sizes or other attributes etc well if you know the mechanics of it you can add to your products as many attributes as you please okay uh, I will leave that to you because initially it's impossible for me to to know what are you working with or, or what is your shop about but I understand with this example I just gave you um, you can add either one or several characteristics to each product um, I mean, um, here we have sizes management, but we could have uh, whatever management or color management or any other type of management they want, okay? In fact, I'm giving the example of the sizes because I think it's the most logical in order to develop a shoe shop. Right, so the next thing we're going to do here is in the page watch product we've got here, we're going to add here the drop down menu. We go to Dreamweaver, <coughs> we open our shop project, and we will look for the page watch product. It's down here. Let's remember a little what did this page do. It basically uh, displays the product's name, the picture and the data of that product. And then the buy button in case the user registered and logged in. Remember we had that around here? Fine, so the next thing we will do is a box. A selector where we will see the sizes of, of this product. Those we've previously selected from the database, okay? So, uh, for example, as this is a thing that initially, well, you can do it as you want, making it visible only for registered users or for everybody. Maybe it would be better that everybody can watch it, even though they aren't a user yet, because they may like some shoes and say, hey, uh, they've got the size I'm looking for, for example. Imagine it's an unusual size, big or small, and you've got it as an exclusive. In that case, it would be interesting, and you can persuade this person to register and purchase the product. Okay, to do it after price, for example, uh, taking advantage 